With our feature definition spreadsheet and our feature symbology spreadsheet now completed, we need to update our XML files so that we can begin to bring all of that back into Open Roads Designer Connect Edition. So we're going to run our import export executable again and we're going to select the XML file that we want to update and so it doesn't matter which one we start with so if we do the symbologies first we'll select that and then we're going to pick our updated Excel spreadsheet which is our symbologies we'll select that and then that will go ahead then and update that XML file. We'll do the same thing again for our feature definitions. So here's our definitions XML file and then the spreadsheet that we want to bring into that is our definitions export and now that XML file is up to date. I've taken the opportunity to make a subfolder here called working files backup just to clean up our folder here make it a little bit easier for these videos to look at and I've left in here what we need to continue to process our element templates our feature definitions and our feature symbologies to bring in our feature definitions symbologies and element templates you will need to do this in a brand new DGNlib file if we try to bring our features and symbologies back into the same DGN library, the import process does not have the capability of updating entries. It will, however, take note that those particular entries already exist and it will give it a numeric suffix, which is what we do not want. And so the supported workflow is to create a new DGN library and import your element templates then your symbologies and then your feature definitions. And so I'm going to go to our seed folder. I'm going to suggest that you use a 3D file for this particular DGN library because when you're dealing with your meshes you do have materials to assign and sometimes you might want to work on those materials. Having a 3D file gives you access to those visualization tools and so I'm going to paste our 3D seed file in here and I'm going to go grab this name of this file and copy it to my clipboard and then I'm going to move this file into our working backup folder and then rename this one and then give it an LIB extension so this will be the clean file that we will be bringing in our element templates, symbologies, and features. Now a point to make here that is important. If you are an agency where you put your levels in their own DGN library, there's no need to import the levels into this file. But as a requirement, the element templates right now at the recording time of this video are required to be in the same DGN library as the feature symbologies and the feature definitions. So there's no choice on that one. And so that's why we created this element templates input file to bring in. And you, if you want to open this file and not use the bulk editor for element templates, that's fine as well you can simply just drag and drop your element templates from your previous DGN library into this clean file. With this clean file now ready to go, we need to import our element templates, then our symbologies, and then our feature definitions. So let's now go ahead and open this new file and we will start by importing our element templates. So we'll choose our XML file. We need to select that XML file that we updated. Make sure this is toggled on. Select OK. And then let's verify that the new folder structures that we added, and they're going to be at the bottom here, 
are there and so there's our volumes and here is our modeling and our categories that we brought forward and it is a good practice uh, to right click on your folders and select sort children to alphabetize and then you can expand individual folders and also alphabetize their, their entries I would I would strongly suggest that you get into that habit it just makes searching a lot easier and there's no guarantees that when things are brought in they will be properly alphabetized so I always double check those and then the same thing here on the main folders if you go up to the top then you can right click and sort children and you can see now that it's properly categorized in ascending order with the alphabet so once the element templates are brought forward then over in Project Explorer you can proceed down to your symbologies you always want to do your symbologies first now later we're going to be adding into the video series how to do annotations once annotations become available you would do element templates first actually if levels are going to be in this file you would do levels first then you would do element templates then you would bring in annotation groups which I'll discuss in another video series after annotation groups are imported you would bring in your symbologies and then lastly your definitions because your symbologies will call annotation groups but since we haven't learned how to do those yet we've left those blank just understand that those would be imported uh, before your symbologies so we're going to skip that for now so right click on your symbologies field and select import and we have our symbologies export XML file that we've updated so select to open that and then you can expand the symbologies category now notice how it doesn't show surface right here there are still some refresh issues at the recording of this video and so if I do a compress here compress the file sometimes that'll help sometimes it won't if you do that and you come back in and you don't have an entry here just go ahead and close and open again open roads uh, designer and it'll take care of it but typically the compress file will bring them and, and make it refresh so anyway just to take a look here you have all of your different entries and you can see that it is properly pointing to the element templates that we imported in the last step and so then the last part of this is to right click on the definitions and import those and we'll just pick our definitions open those and allow those to import and so as we now look at these you can see everything is starting to come together and so we have our different entries in there uh, to take a look at there's our new uh, corridor uh, feature definitions that we built our train features so everything is now in place and so what we've done up to this point is essentially shown you a way to export your original files that were brought forward from select series 4 export those to XML files and then once those XML files are created using those utilities to convert those to Excel this is not required to do your maintenance and to do your conversions of your workspace but I think that you will find if you take a little time to learn this process what you're going to find is bulk editing these things in Excel is going to make everything go so much faster and so I would strongly encourage you to give this a try and if you have any questions by all means let us know and we'll be there to assist you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.